Hello, hello, dears, and welcome to Benny Dong by Anna YouTube channel. Welcome to our YouTube family. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share our videos. Today we are in Albir, just a couple of minutes from Benny Dong, and we'll show you some loveliest places to have some nice meal. Nice Italian place, Nonna Angela by Christian. I love the outside terrace. It's Sicilian type of kitchen and very very nice typical italian meals out here not too pricey either next door we have our favorite mexican restaurant from albir which is plaza mexico it's almost always very busy so if you're a big group of people make sure you book it in advance at least the same day call them and let them know you are coming both inside and outside part they have some incredible margaritas drinks tapas with film did for our my birthday on our vlogs channel so check it out i'm gonna leave you a link here down below and if not i'm gonna insert you just a couple of images couple of pictures right here on the screen incredible place to eat very very much recommended next door we have on the way to the beach sacristan this is tapas and restaurant place authentic Hanish. inside they have an interesting inside of the rock kind of design typical spanish plates fried things meats obviously fish and seafood options are also here nearby apart from different um cocktails they also have some pasta options quite nice pasta options inside and we are heading towards the beach there are some more lounge areas here that never seem to be open and that remodulate refurbish renew and never kind of open to public which is strange however nice places hide here in the beach of albir country ribs you can see it already from here the steakhouse and it's a great great place to have some grilled meat ribs hamburgers etc it tends to be very busy as well even right now you can see that the outside terrace is absolutely full and on the inside there's a lot of people some people say that these are one of the best ribs they've tried in the area so if you've been here please let us know how your experience was this is the average priced place with great quality i love the typical canteen wooden design and a lot of people seem to love it too because um they visit it non-stop even in winter time a lot of locals do come here for a nice evening meal next door we also have some new incorporations that have recently opened up here in albir right next to the shop koala bay which we see it very very pricey for what it is um here in the area so we usually tend to go shopping to the shopping mall or shop online perrone very very nice cocktail place and a place for snacks mediterranean style but i absolutely love the wild garden design inside with a lot of miniature baby light bulbs that give such a special atmosphere this is the albir beach promenade the place where a lot of people come you can come here directly from altea walking and from benidorm there is a bus number 10 which if we are lucky we might see it today out here bus number 10 from benidorm's mediterranean avenue or rincon de Loich up until here or a taxi just a couple of minutes drive a rented car even a bicycle you can rent a bicycle and come here with it with an electric bike if you would like to do so or with an electric scooter here we have the one and only hotel that has sea view the frontal sea views the only one located on the first line of the beach hotel cactus albir which is four stars it needs a tiny bit of refurbishment, it needs a tiny bit of renewing itself. However, it's a nicely priced hotel situated right in front of the sea. And we're kind of looking at the clouds and we feel that it might be raining today. It was uh, dropping just a couple of drops, but hopefully there is not going to be any strong rain because there are so many people outside enjoying their time. And it's 
slightly more chilly the temperatures finally dropped noah lounge is watching us from the top this is a two-story uh, place two floor place which on the top has some nicer like lounge style of a design and then the main floor which is of a restaurant more type of style this is an open air plus the inside part that you can use in winter great place to be we personally loved it when we came here last time and it has a wide variety of a menu it has some drinks cocktails snacks vegetarian vegan options uh, they can customize the meal for you depending on your intolerances allergies typical spanish food mediterranean style fusion international there's a little bit of everything out here Ooh, vino do porto this is from portugal portugal wine that's nice right now this is the summer fair in Benidorm, we don't really have something like this except for some summer markets that are in the old town. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, check out the videos that I'm going to leave for you here linked down below. And you will be able to see which kind of markets we usually tend to have in summer. This is a fair with some attractions, uh, some things for children, as well as for some place with sweets, drinks and snacks. This is how a typical fair here looks like. It's every single year in Albir, starting from end of July up until the end of August. It is officially here. And the bouncing beds, for example, are free for children. They also serve some nice cocktails. They sell like Caribbean type of cocktails on this fair. Going slightly forward towards the beginning of Beach of Albir, right next to the natural park here is where we will see a huge amount of restaurants take into consideration that during the day of today we're not being able to show you all of them obviously however if this video will get at least 100 likes and will get comments as well about which places would you like to see uh, everything that you've seen here in Albir or which restaurants would you recommend to other travelers we will make a part two where we will show you another side of Albir which is not yeah. by the beach where you can see also some great options for you to eat and have some lovely meal maybe even for a special celebration so hit that like button share the video with your friends relatives family and there might be a part two with some more restaurants that are absolutely incredible some of the best chinese and asian places and much much more but so far we are on the beach and here we have some nice pizzeria this is bel mare actually very very nice place it tends to be busy in summer nice pizzas a great portion great size they do it all there it's not frozen all the ingredients are fresh so it's a great place to if you are thinking about a pizza el nautic de albir this is a typical spanish place they do have menus here and it's more for seafood paellas um, fried seafood etc this is goleta beach they have more tapas options they have different types of spanish things tapas sandwiches bocadillos etc this is a tapas place they mostly serve tapas and the takeaway food quite economic by the way uh, quite good quality spanish tapas on the beach d craft this is more for cocktails they do have some snacks though but it's not like a restaurant place where you can have a full meal Hijonenka, this is an ice cream place this is ice cream and cafeteria with some snacks sandwiches etc but mostly it's known for its ice cream very good quality by the way run by a local family and uh, they've been there for decades and some more places this is coco loco a huge terrace right by the beach one of the biggest terraces in the area always full they have great quality cocktails it's a popular place to come in winter they put a big christmas tree right here on the terrace which gives it an even more special atmosphere they have snacks they have drinks refreshing drinks cocktails alcohol non-alcohol ones 
and some nice meals as well but people come here mostly to grab a few drinks to enjoy the time and the views from here summer is also a time for a local small crafts market this is where you can see where all the artists are located something like benny dorms craft summer market but only here in albir this is where you can see different accessories paintings they braid your hair for example as well but the most important thing is um i really would not recommend for example to go to this lady right here we're talking with them because we know them already from other years and i just really wanted to show you where they are located so that you wouldn't take it so that you wouldn't go there because people then have issues with their scalp with their hair afterwards and it's not the best place to get your hair braided there's a lot of african women out here in the area uh, that do braid your hair way better way more gentle and you don't have issues afterwards and you don't feel uncomfortable with the with this these new braids afterwards so not the best option definitely however you do have here some personalized gifts um some accessories uh, some handmade leather bags, uh, nightstand lamps, personalized. A lot of nice things can be found out here. And we are back to the main avenue, slightly away from the beach, which is where we have some more lovely bars. This is Casbrane, which is bar and cafeteria. It's all in one. Uh, drinks bar, sports bar, cafe, ice cream place, snack bar, takeaway, all in one. Budget option, quite cheap comparing to some other places, right next to the beach, right next to all the services, and the staff is very friendly. Bar, beach, lounge, all beer, also a nice place uh, mostly for a nice glass of beer or any kind of drink that you want new kebab and fast food places here as well have opened up recently then you have a snack bar al beer which is where they have a lot of fast food like frikandelen fries and much much more and it's a great way if you are hungry but if you don't really have time to go anywhere and spend a lot of time uh, in some restaurants this is a great option sarita indian restaurant is also here nearby um personally not the best quality at least for us when we were there a couple of years ago uh, right now it might have changed so if you've been there if you have something to share please do so here in the comments section on our channel each review each opinion does count because we are here to help each other out during your future holidays in benidorm more bars and brand new places have opened up here for example this one which is caradura it's a restaurant uh, slash bar place they have an inside and outside terrace but today they are sadly people are just waving today they are sadly closed it's their day off probably uh but if you've been here or if you'll be here in the future days you might try it out they are actually doing a great job because they need to get some clientele so um obviously you can see that they are trying their best typical spanish bar right here on the left side el bar de callosa uh, this is a beer place casino as well in some of these places you can only pay in cash so bear that in mind especially these spanish bars i don't know what the motive actually is but this is what they are doing nomad great place to eat incredible nomad bar restaurant lounge place incredible incredible place to grab some meals very nicely plated the portions are nice and it's like an international slash mediterranean style menu you can find a lot of options for you guys and for children as well which is not less important if you're traveling with a family in front you have a brand new place you can see there's a lot of smoke coming out that's because there's a brand new burger place that have opened up just a couple of weeks ago they have this terrace right here so it's quite a lot of space to eat and it's a very very nice burger look at this how cute it is oh my goodness this is the burger place this is how it's called it's called Fanelli's burgers it's a smash burger burger 180 grams 
and you have a different options and all of it comes with uh, some side plate like a uh, fries and everything is done right here kebab place as well some roast chicken out here great great place to be and much more are coming out if we reach these 100 likes i'll see you in a new video dears bye